As we knew and expected, the whole community has gone psycho babble, batshit crazy about the news that eBay is giving private sellers free fees. And I knew that would be the case, which is why I put a video up nice and early. There are people on both sides of the fence. You've got Kaji on a private who's like, come on! And then you've got John Shepard on a business who's like, motherfucker! And then you've got people in the middle. I personally sit in the middle. Yes, it would have been nice to get some kind of perks, but it's not going to change anything that I do. And I mean that with the utmost respect to both sides. I'm using those two as examples because they're probably two of the most extreme on both sides, Kaji and Shepard. Private sellers being given free reign on the app with free fees and nothing to worry about. And yes, it does include final value fees. I've seen a lot of misconception, a lot of misreading of the situation saying, well, it's only the 300 listings that are free and it's only the insertion fees that are free. No, no, it's everything. So if you're on a private account, you're doing well. What this means is, Everything is free, apart from if you go outside of your allotted 300, you can list more than 300, and if you have listing upgrades like subtitles, etc., and of course, promotions. So what this means for business sellers is, these privates are able to undercut prices by a lot, and they can. That's where the argument is for some business sellers who are like, this is damaging to us, this is not fair to us, blah, blah, blah. So I can see that side from business sellers. I can see what they're... I'm a business seller, but I'm not, I'm not asked. My eggs are not just in eBay. And nobody's eggs should be just in eBay if you are a reseller of the sort of nature that we do. Car boots, charity shops and all this kind of stuff. The standard kind of everyday YouTube seller. I'm not talking liquidators. I'm not talking warehouse clearances. I'm not talking those kinds of big people who predominantly will have to use eBay. But us lot in this little community, spread your eggs, just don't scramble them. So that's where I think business people are more annoyed and the private people are obviously very happy because they've now just made another 10, 15, 20% on what they have, or they can capitalize on the situation and undercut prices massively. eBay also are doing something called simple delivery as well for private accounts. I had no idea this was even a thing. I don't know if it came out yesterday alongside of this, but apparently it's been out for a while, called simple delivery, where it's exactly the same as Vinted. You can have the customer select, buy, and pay for the label on eBay. I'll be honest, I want that as a business seller. I think that would be fantastic. That's one of the things that I love about Vinted is the buyer deals with the postage. If it gets lost, it's on Vinted to deal with it. It's not on us. I work, some of you would have twigged on by now that I work in a method of least stress for me. A lot of people say, why would you sell this kind of thing on Vinted? You could get more on eBay. That's why it's less stress. I've had one parcel go missing on Vinted. I've had thousands go missing on eBay. And the times that I do have anything going missing on other platforms, it's so much easier. So I would like to see eBay implement the simple delivery on all going across the whole board, private, business, whatever. So if you're a private seller, go check that out as well, because I reckon that's going to be so good to use, man. I would love that. I would love that. That's probably the only thing I'm salty about, about the whole situation. I want that. I want simple delivery, goddammit. I've got nothing else to say about the situation on that. That's it, it's done, it's dusted, there we are. If you wanna go see the many different reactions and the many different viewpoints on it, go and check out my previous video and just dive into the comment section. You will have a whale of a time. There's left, there's right, there's middle, they're all there. <laughs> we are gonna jump into some sales right now and as always, we're gonna start off on Vinted. Going in super strong for 40 pounds and 40 pence. We've sold this Timberland leather jacket. Lovely in brown, proper James Collects vibes. This cost me, I paid, it wanted 40 quid. And then in the end, I got it for a tenner as part of the deal. But then when I averaged it all down, it ended up owing me six pounds 55, I think. Something like that, for the car boot sale. Sold it for 40 pounds and 40 pence. Beautiful. Just pop that there for a minute. Next up for 11 pounds and 11 pence is this XXL Ralph Lauren polo jersey. I couldn't think of what the name of the brand was called then. Nice big one, picked up two of these, a red one and a blue one. The blue one's a little bit more worse for wear, so I've listed that for a lot cheaper. This one sold for 11 pounds and 11 pence. So thank you so much, Mark, I appreciate that. And I've definitely just repeated myself there. 
Kenji has sold from the charity shop the other day for £2.75 or something along them lines. Steph has picked this one up for £9.85. I think it was £9.85. £9.58. Hi Ricky, love the YouTube content you're putting out at the minute. I have recently started to branch into eBay sales myself after selling on here for the past year. MC Ricky. Hope the offer isn't too cheeky, but I thought you wouldn't mind a world record number. I really appreciate that one, Steph. No offer is too cheeky. However, as some of you would have realized, if you send me ridiculously low offers, like 50, 60% off, <laughs> I won't accept. I'm not sure if you're a viewer or not, but you did say thank you with a kiss. Now you could just be being very polite or you are a viewer and I would hate for you to miss the opportunity to go by. So just in case you are, I am gonna say Terry, thank you so much without spitting everywhere. I am gonna say, Terry, thank you so much for picking up the sketches. Sold for 22 pounds, have never been worn. Picked these up from Ricky Stream for I think 20 pound, but I actually used 12 pound store credits. So I think they cost me about eight quid. Eight pound into 22, we'll take it. I bought these originally for Emma, but they don't fit her, so, oh well. Now I don't know if your name is Morgan or Sue, because your account says Sue, but your label says Morgan. So Morgan Sue, Sue Morgan, Guten Morgan. German, has picked up the Napapiri t-shirt. I lost my trail of thought then. Paid three pound from this from a charity shop and sold it for, in fact, I think you sent me an offer higher than was originally listed. Sold for six pounds, six pence. That's right, I had it listed for 4.44. And you said to me, hiya Ricky, I'd love to take this cheeky wee shirt from you at six pounds six, if that's okay. I can you think of one from YouTube. Scottish. I love you guys. Terrible. Terrible. So I'll pop the YouTube name up here. I don't know if you put videos out or not. I'm really sorry, but I don't really watch too much content at the moment. But if you don't, then you might just have some random subscribers for nothing. And if you do, fantastic. Sue, Morgan, I can't even think of one. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And that's all for Vinted. Again, Scots, I do apologise. That was a terrible accent. I'll get those packed up. And we'll go move over to eBay. And then I'm going to go check out the Chazza because I've not been in there for a couple of days. Actually, that's a lie. I went in there two days ago, picked up quite a few things, including the mulberry bag, which was fake. But boring content. So we'll hopefully we'll go and find some more stuff today. Let me get this packed up. eBay now, before I do, let me just jump back to Vinted very quickly and give a big shout out to KLA Antiques. Picked up the Lily Bloom bag. I did give a shout out for his name, but I didn't realise he wanted a shout out on his Vinted as well. So please do go check out KLA Antiques and it's probably the same on eBay as well. Massively appreciate you, mate. eBay, I'll tell you what, it's a plush in hell day today. So much plush, actually not, just three items, but that's quite a lot. Sold, the WWF Panther Jaguar thing, whatever it is, the Anna Club plush. I told you it'd be worth a few quid. Listed it for 39.99, got an offer of 25, counted at 30 and it was accepted. Two pound 50 into 30 pound. Down, kitty. £10.56 for this Beats pill speaker holder. Paid £2 from a charity shop a long time ago and it just wouldn't sell. Sold now though. Oh, and it sold to Julie as well. I didn't see the note there. It almost slipped me by, but that's the only way I'm going to get your notes. If you send me offers with notes and messages, I'm not going to see them when it comes to doing the order. But I saw that one just then. Julie, massively appreciate that. Thank you so much. Press the button and it started doing it on its own. Hit the memory, obviously. £12.59 for the last of these Robert Rankin books. It was four for a pound at a jumble sale and I bought eight or something like that. Beautiful. £12 for this vintage Adidas squash racket. I think it's really smart. Look at that, you can see the Adidas just there. You can see it anyway, but really cool. This is the, I mean, look at, I mean, just look at it. it. Just screams vintage, doesn't it? Jonah Barrington Fury means nothing to me whatsoever. I do know I paid a pound and sold it for 12. Oosh. Eight pounds 99 for the last of the Scotty Cameron pickup. People were saying to me, why didn't you pick up the character plush? I did, I just forgot to show them because I was too excited about showing the Scotty Cameron. Picked up this one and the squirrel, whatever it was. Sold them both, sold it all. Eight pounds 99 all in. And 14 pounds all in, we've sold Yoshi. It's the black version, still Yoshi. It's, did you know Yoshi's actually a breed, not a character? I only found that out the other day. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read. Yoshi is a breed, and this is a black one. And that's it for eBay and Vinted. Once I've got that packed up, I will drag your asses to the charity shop and see if we can find something to buy to resell and make money. To the bit. What are you doing? Bus? 
I'm going to the charity shop, but there's a wild mother-in-law appeared. <laughs> Morning. Hiya. Can't believe you haven't sold these two yet. What? Can't believe you haven't sold those two yet. Yeah. But then again, you've got about like 400 quid on them, haven't you? Oh, yeah, somebody said that before. But they are... Well... But you know, you're right. I suppose they're quite pricey bits, are they? I suppose they were new, yeah. Stick a pony in you, me puppy. I know. I know. Ten quid, maybe. I've actually got ten pound quid, it, so I might just get it. I'll be a pain and have a look at that. Something in that cupboard, please. Sorry, mate. That camera there, please, in the box. Pentax. The morning, yeah, I'll take a look at that. Let's have a look and just see if it's mouldy or not. Thing is, they go mouldy after a while. People don't. People don't. Well, people don't look after them. They leave batteries in them. And it looks like there's probably been some leakage in that box. Ooh. Uh, while it's open, let's have a look so I'll see there quickly. Just in case anything, because I've noticed there's a few little boxes up here that I've not seen before. Yeah, you can close it up. I've actually got £10 credit, I'm going to use that today. That's the only reason why I bought the camera. £12 into £2. £2. There you go. Beautiful. Can't always fill up our bags when we go to the charity shops, can we? I will, of course, cut most of that filming out because you don't need to see that. The two pickups that I got was this North Face hat, which I was a little bit dubious of, and I still am. But I think it might just be, it was two pound. I think it might just be an older one. Made in Canada, Can Canadian made. It's got the right CA numbers and the RN numbers on there. Back looks all right. So I think it's sound two pound, no idea on value on that. Maybe eight to 10 quid. But this one for 10 pound, which I actually got for free because I've been saving up my loyalty credit. Why all charity shops don't do loyalty schemes, I do not know. But whatever, each to their own. Oh, you can't take credit from the charity shop. Shut up! What is the approximate size of the doll? I don't know, whoever you are. But this is in the box. It is in minty fresh condition. I know I didn't realize I blocked the camera up when I was looking at it. But just look at this. The, but the case is minty fresh. Still has the cardboard bit in the back. There's a battery in there, but it hasn't exploded and it actually looks like it's an original battery. There's not a scratch or a mark on it. It is just immaculate. I wonder if it does turn on with that battery. Oh, it does show signs, but it's not. It's, sh it's flashing the battery sign. I've got spare batteries. It is immaculate. I reckon with the box and the case and the condition it's in, 35 to 40 quid. I'm seeing solds of just a camera for 25, so it's got to hold some kind of weight, hasn't it? It's lunchtime now and I need to go and eat. Before you go there, I'm going to do another giveaway. This one's a bit more of a, what do you call it? A punk giveaway? A bit punky? It's a chicken key ring. But when you squeeze it, egg comes out and you need to like, there's the egg yolk. The egg yolk's in there somewhere. There you go, look. It lays an egg. Kind of, and basically. It's just one of those things that while I was shopping on Timu the other day, I just thought, I'll have that and put it in the basket. I'm never going to use it or put it on my keys, let's be honest. But what if you lot might? All you've got to do is comment down below. That's it. With that note, I am off. Take care, guys. Catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye.